as I said, we're going to read this book called A Visit to the Zoo. It's about Tommy and his friends, right? Tommy, their monkey bongo, RK5, the robot, Andy, Sam is Tommy's sister, right? And Kim, and it's <coughs> book four in the Tommy Tales series. As we read this today, we are going to track the character's feelings, okay? Um, in this book, we don't really have a main character. A lot of times in fiction books, you have one main character that you really want to focus on their feelings. But the friends as a group in this book, they're kind of the main character, okay? And we're going to track how they feel at different points in the book. Why do you think it's important to know how the characters are feeling? Because you can get smarter. Tell me more. What do you mean smarter? Well, when you're reading, our purpose is to understand what we're reading, right? And when we're reading fiction, we need to focus in on the characters, because what they feel, what they say, what they do is important, right? So we can tell how they're feeling by what they say and what they do. So as you're tracking their feelings, I want you to think about what they say and what they do that makes you think they feel that way, okay? And when we track a character's feelings, that helps us understand what they do and why they do it. And that helps us deeply understand the book, okay? Now, up here I have some feeling words written on our whiteboard, okay? I know a lot of times First graders and second graders, sometimes when they when teachers ask how a character feels, they say happy, sad. We want to use better words than happy and sad, okay? There are much better words that really describe how a character feels much better than just happy or sad. Because do you think a character could feel happy and sad at the same time? I think they probably could. They might be happy but nervous at the same time. They could be excited and nervous at the same time. So there are better words than just happy and sad to use. And look at these words up here. I have terrific and excited. What do they mean? Yes. That means that you're really happy to go somewhere and you just want to go there like real quick. Okay, so they're positive words, right? They're feel-good words. Okay, by number two I have panicked. What does that mean? What does panicked mean? If you're feeling panicked, what do you think that means? That means that you're feeling really tired. Okay. Or sleepy. You're getting close. If you're panicked, you're scared, and you're nervous, you're really worried about something. You're thinking, oh my gosh, is this really going to happen? Okay, you're, you're very worried, very terrified. Terrified means you're scared, right? Really scared. Okay. By number three, I have thankful and relieved. Thankful means you're very glad and happy that something happened, right? Maybe you're thankful that someone helped you, right? If you're relieved, that means you are feeling good about something. You were worried about it, but now you're feeling, oh, I'm glad that's over. I'm happy now. I don't have to worry about that anymore. You're relieved. Okay. Right here I have hopeful and adventurous. If you're hopeful, 
You are thinking good things. You're hopeful. This is going to work. This is going to be okay, right? You're hopeful. Adventurous. What do you think? You're feeling kind of wild, excited. You're feeling adventurous. You want to go out and have fun, have a good time. Okay. I always want to do that, but a lot of times I don't. So, you're going to think, are how, which of these words are the characters feeling as you're reading the book? Okay. I have placed sticky notes in different pages throughout the book. Every so many pages, you, as you read, you're going to come across a sticky note. So on the first sticky note, you are going to either put terrific or excited. How are the friends feeling at the beginning of the book? Okay, You're going to put how they're feeling, either terrific or excited. Then when you get to the second sticky note, you're going to choose what two words? panicked or terrified, right? And on the third sticky note, what are your two choices? Thankful and relieved. Then on the last sticky note at the end of the book, how are the characters now feeling? You're going to put hopeful or adventurous. And as you're putting down how they're feeling, Think about what they do or what they say that makes you think that. And we're going to talk about it as we go through this book today. Okay? So when I hand you your book, you may start reading here on page three. Okay? Any questions? Is that a chapter book? It is not a chapter book. You may get through it today. We'll see. Okay, go ahead and start reading, and I'll probably listen in a little bit, okay? So you can read to yourself, unless I ask you to read loudly. What level is this? It is a level K. I'm on. Mm -hmm. I, let's give it a try. I think it'll be okay. All right, read Start hearing it and a little bit louder, okay? What are you going to try? What can you do when you come to a word you don't know? Okay, try that. Banana? Yeah, you got it. Awesome job. That's a really tricky word. It's another kind of fruit. Pear. Yeah. Good job working He helped rescue him from the animal shelter, didn't he? Yeah. Good job. Keep reading. How's it going to me? Where are you at? Get 
Tommy Belty. <laughs> try, try finishing the sentence and see if that sounds right. Tommy Belty Okay, yent. So you didn't think guilty sounded right. So you tried it gently. What other sound can a G make? Could you flip it to the other sound it makes sometimes? When G and E are together, G sounds like a J. So it says J. You see G, E together, so what would it say? G or J? J. J. Again, G, E, it would say J. So what would this word be? J. Or. George. George. That's a person's name. Is You see the G, E there? So what's J, or what's the G going to say? J. Okay, try it. Okay, read the whole sentence now. Start with Tommy. Tommy gently pulled the robot from his pocket. Can Great. you take use some word for me? There was some, one word that you messed up on. Take take us some somewhere fun. Yeah, take us. You know what you said the first time? Use. Yeah. Us makes much more sense, doesn't it? Can you take us somewhere fun for a change? Said Sam. I can take you anywhere. You can whisper it a little bit softer here. Tom, where are you at? So that sentence you just read, tell me what, what happened. Read it again for me. So what did you just read? And what do we know that means from the other books in the series? RK5 is what? What happens when there's a blue flash of light and smoke? What happened the first time when there was a blue light and flash of smoke? Where did the kids end up going? Yeah, RK5 takes them somewhere, right? Okay, keep going. What are you trying? Do you see any little words in the big word? I see a little word I know in that big word. Can you find one? The. Yeah, there's the. And if you even put the M on the end of the, what does that become? Them. So, let's... Try it and see if we can figure out. Say it all together and sound out the ending, okay? What's the first part? You got it. Good job. Now, start the sentence again so that you understand it. So where are they? Yeah, so how did they get there? From RK5. Hey, 
took them there, right? I guess transported them there. Keep going. You can read to yourself. So where are they wanting to go? To the monkey house. Why did they decide to go there? Because, um, because, um, I forgot them. Bongo? Bongo wanted to get m more friends. Okay. Remember what we have to do here. What did you see? The sticky note? Mm -hmm. What do you have to do? Write down either terrific or excited. So, how do you think the characters are feeling? Excited to go to the room. Okay, why? Because, um, because at first, um, <coughs> at first they, they, um, <coughs> they called the zoo and then they were so excited to go to the zoo. And do you remember why they wanted to go to the zoo? Mm -hmm. Why? Because, um, Bongo wanted to make more friends. Okay. Good. Write down your word to me. What are you thinking? Excited, excited, or terrific. Did you get th finished with these two pages yet? Okay. What are you thinking? I actually did. I actually. Do you need to finish? Okay, finish. And then I'll come back and talk with you. You put what? Excited. Why did you choose that? Kim said, here's... I'm, for now, I just want you to write on the stick, you know, excited. You don't have to tell me the because right now. Or you don't have to write it down, but you can share it with me, okay? Why excited? Okay. And they were happy to help him? Do you think? They were excited to help him? Okay, you may go on. They were excited. Right. And you're going to read until you get to 12, and then you're going to have to decide how they're feeling now, okay? They were excited to uh, see the fun. They were excited to go to the monkey house and see the monkeys. Okay, and why were they excited to, to do that? Now the robot could make new friends. Okay, you said robot. Was the robot the one who wanted to go to the zoo? No, he just wanted to make monkey friends. Who wanted to make monkey friends? Uh, R-K-5. Oh, hmm. I, I thought someone else wanted to make monkey friends. Can you find, find the part in the story where it talked about making friends with monkeys? And see if you can find out who it said wanted to do that. All the characters. Who's Bongo? Uh, right here. Bongo is the monkey, right? Oh. So Bongo wanted to make. N new, um, make monkey. 
monkey first. Because he is a monkey, right? Mm -hmm. So, I agree, I excited. You you gave lots of reasons why they're excited. So go ahead and write down excited and then go ahead and continue reading, okay? Where can you look? Right up here, right? I have our feeling words. You're choosing between terrific and excited, right? You made it here? Mm -hmm. Okay. Can I have everyone stop real quick? Um, Sydney made it to page 12. And she already wrote down her feeling word on how the characters are feeling. Thomas, stop for a second. I covered up the picture here because I didn't want you to see what was happening before you wrote down your feeling word here. Because maybe the feelings will change from here to here. Okay. So when you're ready for this part, you can peel off the sticky note. Look at the picture and start reading. Okay. But wait until you've put down your feeling word on page 12. I thought we had to write a feeling down right here though. Right. Good thing I told you what to do there, right? You were confused. All right. So let's talk about your feeling word though before you go on. You picked what? Panic. Because, Panic. Because they were scared because the crocodile had um two names. We have Tommy, Bongo, Kim. or Kim. Wasn't it? Oh, Sam's Sam. hat. They saw Sam's hat in the crocodile. So what do you think? They were panicked because they were thinking what? Because the because they were scared because it was on a crocodile. What do, you th what do you think they were thinking when they saw the hat oh, by no. the crocodiles? Oh, oh no. What what did they think happened? Um, that the crocodile um, put it on his head. Okay. Anything else they could be thinking? Because what happened back here? They were at the monkey house, and what did they realize? Um, Sam's, um, Sam was gone. Sam was gone. And then, what do they notice when they try to find her? What do they notice? The crocodile had her hat. So what could they possibly be thinking? Are you on that part, too? Uh. You haven't got there yet. Okay. Oh. But I know what she's maybe thinking. Like, okay, what if do you think? they get closer, the crocodile is maybe going to eat the hat and show them how they're... Well, who had the hat on? Sam. Sam. Sam was wearing the hat. Now they see the hat in the crocodile pond. Be what do they think might have happened? I didn't finish because um, it, it fell like, off when they passed the crocodiles. Reread page 12 again. Reread page 12. And re have you got there yet? Have you read these pages? Alright. <coughs> read those and think. You're nodding your head like you figured something out. What did you figure out? Um, that they that they were um that they were um. You started to say scared. They were scared. They what? were scared because um because the crocodile the crocodile had Annie's hat. Well, not Annie, Sam. Mm -hmm. And on page 12, what does it say there? Does it? They thought she been eaten. Yeah, can you find that part? Where's the sentence that says that? They ran back. See if you can find that sentence. Walk 
did I attend? Andy shouted, Look, there's Sam's hat. Keep going. It's in the crocodile's pen. Sam's been eaten. By a crocodile. By a crocodile. So what are they thinking? Um, Sam's been eaten by a crocodile. I might be thinking that too if I were these characters, right? Mm -hmm. She's missing. Her hat's in the crocodile pond. I can't wait to find out what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I want you to go ahead and stop where you're at. This is a good stopping point. You're going to have to wait until tomorrow to find out what happens. I already read okay. this on All right. Go ahead and stop. Okay. And we're going to pick up where we left off tomorrow. And we're going to keep on working with the character's <laughs> feelings. Okay? So, at the beginning of the book, the characters were very what? Um, what word did you pick? They were feeling what? Um, I picked panic. Excited at the beginning. And then I picked panic. Panic. Panic because of what they thought happened to yeah, because, Sam. Yeah. Okay. And well, we're gonna go on and see how their feelings change as we finish up the book tomorrow. Okay. Mm. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow. All right. Push your chairs in and you may go.